Hi, this is Dr. Jeff Thompson. I'm going to discuss binaural beats. Back in 1973, in Scientific American magazine, there was an article by a guy named Gerald Oster, a research scientist at Mount Sinai Hospital. He proved that using EEG to measure your brain waves could show that you could create an external sound pulse at a brainwave speed and your brain waves would change from whatever they're doing to lock onto that speed. So therefore you could use sound waves pulsing at a brain speed to change your state of consciousness. He separated the pulse into two tones that were slightly out of tune, which created a phantom pulse, which is modulating airwaves between speakers. And that modulation, he proved, could also do the same thing. As long as there was a pulse, your brain waves would follow. Putting that through headphones causes this ear and this ear to hear completely separate frequencies that the other ear is not hearing. That's never happened in biological evolution ever. There's never a time when this ear hears something that this one doesn't hear. So when they do hear different tones, the brain gets uh, confused and it wants to figure out what the heck is going on so it forces the right left hemispheres to synchronize their activity in order to compare notes to find out what's going on. Synchronicity of the hemispheres is a very desirable state to have. It's where problems get solved, new ideas come into your brain, aha moments, epiphanies, and we can float your brain there for prolonged periods of time. Another thing that's a first in biological evolution, because when you have an aha moment, it comes together, comes apart right away, but we can float it there with binaural beats.